Hey guys, wanted to show you my new uh, roll bar here. Check it out. <clears throat> goes up. It's not a full cage, but then it goes back into there. And then there's like these cross members here. So get you to see that. Yeah, not bad. I got this on a. Uh, actually, got this on the uh, classic Broncos uh, form. This uh, pretty nice. The wells look pretty good. Uh, I had to drive a little bit to go get it, but. Awesome well, the guy said it was TIG welded and powder coated. And I paid 200 bucks for it. Um, it was a guy, uh, Poncho Rally, uh, was his name. Classic Bronco screen name, but he's actually going back to more of like a classic look, you know, like with the uncut fenders. Where he, he guess he bought rear quarter panels to make it look again with the, what's it called? So he's going back from like a Baja style to like more of a classic look, you know? And then, uh, but for me, I took this thing off roading, so uh, not all the time, but it's mainly my, just my, my street vehicle. But it is nice to go off roading from time to time. But yeah, I actually used to have a roll cage before, and you can kind of see I, I had to fill all these holes in, you know. Oh, well, sorry, well, holes there. But yeah, the actual cage that the guy, I got this Bronco like 20 years ago. Uh, the cage was not, I don't think, wasn't designed for a Bronco. So it was like dangerous, man. Like these bars would be like hanging down here. I don't know if you can see my hand, but they'd be like down here. In relation to this one here so dude it was it was actually more dangerous having it in the vehicle from I used to whack my head on it when I'd off-road you know it was, it was like right behind my head and uh, it was a uh, freaking kind of dangerous yeah you know I man so but one of the issues I'm gonna deal with right now, you can see that the it's like I put my liner up to back on top of this but my car originally didn't have the liner I put this on there it's I made mean, such a huge difference because uh, I have a black roof and it was so hot in here during summertime with the, with the sun but so, yeah, so I got the liner back on there, but I guess I haven't done that yet because I'm still trying to, because now I have this roll bar here, and this is actually a 1966 Bronco, and I guess I'll show you how I modified the, uh, now this is actually going to be in the way of this thing, so I have to make a, a, some sort of custom bracket if I can get it up in there, you know, to fit, but, and that's it, so I just got to make a custom bracket. Okay, so yeah, sorry back there. Uh, so yeah, this was a '66, so it originally had vacuum operated wipers, and then I bought this electric one on the on eBay a long time ago. And uh, actually, it's worked great for a couple of years. Let me show you because the vacuum wipers were different than the electric ones. I'm actually, repainting this right now, but I basically just cut that and added like a little bar to it, you know. And it actually works. It worked perfectly fine for like about 10 years. Just now that I have this roll bar, it's kind of in the way now, so yeah, my, my other roll bar didn't seem to in, interfere with it, so yeah, I cut the other roll bar out a couple years ago maybe like uh, four or five years ago, but alright, we'll have to figure it out, I think I'm gonna flip this metal around find a way, I'm gonna have to make a custom bracket of some sort get this around, and maybe even put, put a protector on there, because I'm always worried about my kid whacking his head on this thing, you know, if I had to stop fast or something, but all right, cool. New roll bar. Gotta figure out the wipe here issue here. So cool. All right, guys. This is a uh, kind of a mock up here, but I don't know if you can see that in the light, but it's that's where I actually originally cut it. Like I said, this is a '66 Bronco and it originally had vacuum uh, wipers. So what I did is I cut the bracket and I flipped it around backwards and. There was no way to mount it in there, so I just mounted it to the to the roll cage here. And it's super, super tight. It's way tighter than it was before. Um, but this actually, what I was looking at online is this actually was a a, a lower down drop bracket, the one you can buy for like 15 bucks online. So I just cut this up and kind of modified it and moved it around. But um, here's the wire. Um, I, I, you got I need to have clearance because I'm actually have a my the line up here, you know. So. Hey, what are you doing, dude? What are you doing? Get off me, dude. That's a crazy kid. All right, um, all right. I got my keys and test this out. Let's see if it works. Then it works. Then I'm gonna take it back off, paint it, get it all nice, and uh, find a way to maybe rubberize this thing or something because my kid sits right here. You know, even though he's strapped in pretty good. I mean, that's a straight shot right to that freaking bracket right there. So it was it was dangerous before, but I mean it's I mean it's still about the same dangerous. So I don't know. 
All right, guys, there it is. You can see I had to lower it a little bit where the other holes are at. Um, a little couple stands off behind it. I mean, stable, but it's, it's, it's hard on a rock, but I guess it's pretty low. But, uh, yeah, a little trippy, but uh, the, the light kind of sucks in here, so. Um, this is like the top of that cover thing, and I have to, once it, it's not fully in there, but once it gets in there, it's gonna, like right now, it's kind of rubbing right here, but it'll get in there. But, move that thing up, let's see if it works. All right, All right. total pain in the ass, but yeah, I mean, I, I might build some kind of cover around this thing, like uh, some kind of protective thing around this. I'll have to take a look and see the, the motion of it. Um, but eventually, I think I might just get the other kind of wipers. Not sure, just because I don't like the fact that my kid could, uh, or my wife could whack her head, you know what I mean, on this thing. Even though it's a few feet away, you know, at the, the seatbelts are fine. It's, but still, dude, that's sharp. I mean, that's like the head go right in that thing, or you're bumming. All right, let's go. Let's try that. Oh, that's high speed. Actually, by the way, I have, I have the uh, intermittent switch conversion. Did that about 10 years ago. Um, let me go back to. Yeah, this is probably, this is not a perfect solution. I'm just, if you, giving you guys some ideas, you know, if anybody else has done this conversion or if you had an issue with clearance in their uh, thing here. There we go. Actually, let's go back to, there you go. You can kind of see that. I don't have the wipers on it yet, but like right now it's kind of rubbing up here. Once I get that back, it's not gonna rub. So. Sixty-six Bronco. Yeah, you can see where I put that extension piece on there. It's not perfect, but it freaking works. I mean, I, good thing I live in Southern California. We don't we don't get a lot of rain here, so well, actually we had a pretty rainy winter this winter, but well, at least for for Southern California standards, yeah, we were in a drought for like ten years or whatever now. But cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I think it's all mechanical. It's kind of crazy. Pretty cool though.